Hello and welcome to the Lockleys Bowling Club in Adelaide, the host venue for the 2012 World Lawn Bowls Championships. And today it is the second semi-final in the women's singles where Australia's Karen Murphy will take on England's Natalie Melmore. A place in the final awaits. New Zealand's Val Smith is there who will join her. Taking a look at the players, firstly England's Natalie Melmore. At just 23 years of age, she has two silver medals from the 2011 Atlantic Rim Championships and her crowning moment came at the 2010 Commonwealth Games in Delhi when she took out the gold in the singles. Natalie, a big occasion. How are you feeling? Yeah, really looking forward to it, actually. Obviously, Karen's a great player and I've had a few days off now, so I'm ready to get on the green and get going, really. Windy and warm today. The conditions, what impact do you think they may have? The wind obviously makes it a bit tricky, but hopefully the green's under a bit of cover, so it shouldn't be too bad. I've watched a couple of games and seen the lines, so, uh, so yeah, we'll just have to see what happens on the trial ends. Over to Australia's Karen Murphy and her list of achievements is difficult to contain on one page. She's ranked number four in the world and just running through the gold. It covers the PBA Ladies World Match Play, World Championships, Asia Pacifics and Commonwealth Games. Well, Karen, you've experienced plenty of these big moments. How are you feeling at the moment? Yeah, I feel really good going into this game. Um, Natalie's a bit of an unknown quantity to me in a way. We haven't played singles before. So, uh, look, it's a big arena out here for the semi-final of the singles and I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait to get out there. Have you been happy with your form in the lead-up to today? Yeah, I think uh, the last probably, uh, you know, three or four games I have been reasonably happy. Um, had a bad day there in the singles, but, you know, over a, an event like this where we've, we've played 20-something games, it's probably inevitable to have a day like that. So, um, you know, it makes you try harder and, um, you know, I've certainly put it together over the last couple of games and feel like I'm, I'm in a good space and, you know, I'm happy where I'm at. Well, joining me in commentary, Julie Keegan. And, Julie, you know Karen very well, a teammate of yours. Uh, she, there's no better bowler in Australia that loves the big stage. There's probably no better, better bowler in the world, Mark. Um, Karen's in top form at the moment. I think she's going to play very well out there today. Well, her opponent, Natalie Melmore, has won gold at the Commonwealth Games. A big stage there. She won't be daunted. Definitely not. Two legends of the game, and uh, I think we're in for a great contest out there. Very warm conditions for this second semi-final of the women's singles at the 2012 World Championships. And it is an England v Australia battle. A battle for a place in the final. Val Smith of New Zealand, the defending champion, awaits either Natalie Melmore of England or Karen Murphy of Australia. 23 years of age, the English woman. Karen Murphy, Australia's most experienced female player. Just turned 38 years of age or 39 years of age. She'll turn what in uh, no, 38 years of age in a couple of weeks? Yes. Karen Murphy has a wealth of international titles but would crave a singles world championship crown she's won gold at the world championships before but not in singles she's up against the current commonwealth games gold medalist in singles so melmore gets us underway Confident start. Fantastic start there from Natalie. And there's a wonderful response from Karen Murphy. Both girls on their game early. <laughs> Helen Stellard from New Zealand, our marker. If this is any indication of what the game's going to be like, Mark, I think we're in for an absolute cracker of a game. Changing to the backhand here. Yes, the <laughs> English woman, Melmore, and she gets a touch, it rolls on a little bit. But How far shots? My ball now, please, Helen. Eight, eight to ten inches. Ah. Bit of breeze coming straight down the green. So the bowler's bowling back into it from this end of the TV rink. Karen, I think we'll soon find out. It doesn't turn as much from out there as I think the bowlers think, does it, Julie? We've noticed that. 
in our time here in Adelaide? Yes, we have. Going down there on that forehand, if you just miss your line slightly on the wide side, it just doesn't come back. This one's a little bit narrower for Natalie and, and more than likely will if she's got the right weight. It's a good line. Good bowl there from Natalie. There's the perfect example of what we're talking about. Wasn't much difference in the line, but certainly was a difference in the result. This one seems a bit better from Karen. Very good looking line here. Yeah. Karen. Unlock lucky not to get a better result out of that shot, Karen. She played it perfectly. Some protection at the back now. Does Natalie Melmore? Is there a more, is there a fiercer competitor in Australian bowls than Karen Murphy? Definitely not. She's no doubt the best player in Australia, and she's in great form at the moment. Last bowl on the first end. Not a bad line here. It's on track. It's just dying, though. It wasn't far off. And it is one to the English woman. One for England. Yeah, and Natalie Melmore leads 1 0 after the first end. It is the first to 21. It is a limitless number of ends until we get to 21. Val Smith, the defending champion, is already in the final. Thirty-two degrees currently, and at twenty-three years of age, a gold medalist at the Commonwealth Games, and unfazed by the fact that she's in the semi-finals of the World Championships. Ten minutes before this match was starting, she was reading a novel, and Jackie Collins' novel at that. That is relaxed, isn't it? Very, very relaxed. And um, the name of the novel was called Chances. The temperature said it was 32. Well, it seems a lot hotter than that. I think that favours Karen Murphy, a local Australian girl. Great ball there from Karen. My ball, please, Helen. Uh, 14 inches. there from Karen but the weight was a bit better both of these girls lost three matches in this tournament and Natalie had a bit of a hiccup in rounds eight through ten losing three in a row and to opponents I'm sure she would have expected to beat Hong Kong Cyprus and Brunei dropping matches to them yeah just a little lull there for Natalie and um, sometimes a loss doesn't really hurt you at um Brings you back to reality, so. One in a measure, Karen. Weight of my last bowl, please. Two bowls in front of Jack High. Thanks, mate. Karen, close to both of our last semi-finalists. Smith and...
Carahan of Canada. Of course, Val Smith into the final. She also lost to the Norfolk Island follow-up. But after that has hit her straps well. So it brings some good form into this semi-final. Bit of a messy end here from Melmore. Just rolled on as well. So an opportunity here for Karen Murphy. Chance to pick up four shots on the second end. That would be huge for Karen. Don't know that it's going to turn, is it? Get there. It's hanging out there on that side again. So one conceded, two, two. conceded. Two, one. Karen Murphy. So she hits the lead and opportunity they missed I think on that occasion and Natalie Melmore thought she was down three and would have thought that Karen might have drawn a fourth but she didn't and would be happy I think Natalie just to have conceded the two because it was a rather messy end from her. Yeah a bit lucky to get out of that one Natalie. better from Natalie. Didn't really get near the jack the last end, so that will make her feel a bit better. Karen's very close here. Just slipping under the jack. She likes this likes one a bit this more. One. Yep. Fantastic shot from Cara Murphy. Challenge here for Natalie Melmore. Don't think this has got the weight to get there. Looking good. I think four. One bowl remaining for Natalie Melmore. But, but just rolls on and that is a massive end for Karen yeah. Murphy to pick up four shots 
and now leads 6-1 after just three ends. What a start here for Karen Murphy, who's picked up six shots in two ends to really jump out of the blocks. Another perfect start from Karen. Nailing the line. Just behind the jacks, perfect. Andy, reply. My bow, please, Helen. Uh, 20 inches. Brilliant bowl there from Karen. Okay, texting furiously. <laughs> Sending updates to people, no doubt. Not her best there from Natalie. Completely happy with the release. It's not too bad. She'll be happy with the result. Absolutely. Just ran on a fraction. Yeah, look, from where we're sitting, well, Natalie's attacking here. Got the best back. And she does magnificently well. It's a knock. Both those passes away. And the gap narrows to three. Let's head downstairs. Andrew Holmes. Yeah, thanks, Mark. I'm here with Lindsay Armitage, and uh, what a great pressure bowl there by, by Natalie to uh, to try and pull back that margin. Yeah, definitely. Um, Kaz has got off to a bit of a dream start there, picking up a four on that uh, the last end, um, and Natalie's a class player, so Kaz will, Kaz will know that she, she's got to be on the ball, and, um, yeah, Natalie will definitely fight back. You know Kaz better than uh, most. This is her sort of stage, isn't it? She loves the pressure. She loves the the main stage to uh, to bowl on, and uh, she's brought an element here. Yeah, definitely. Um, she th she'll thrive on this crowd here as well, and uh, it's probably one of the few titles that she doesn't have in a trophy cabinet. So she's definitely up for it today. We've spoken a few times about this rink not being used a lot in the build-up. How difficult is that for a player to to come here, out here, two trial ends, and uh, and find the line, find the pace really quickly? Yeah, it's definitely it's, it's it is pretty tricky, but um, I mean obviously the girls are picking up picking it up pretty well. They're both class players, so um, yeah, it won't take them long at all to find their range. And this has been a culmination of a, uh, a great tournament here by the Australians. Yeah, definitely. Um, we had a, had a great uh, final there yesterday with the girls winning gold in the pairs and the boys getting silver and hopefully plenty more gold to come. Thanks, Lindsay. No worries. Nice start here by Natalie Melmore. That example again of it just being a fraction wide. Wait, please, Helen. 16 inches. Better wait here from Karen. 
Dream Bowl. Do you not have to ask permission? Yes, generally. Rather than tell <laughs> the market you're coming to have a look? Yeah, normally on the second bowl, um, the rule is that you, you ask the market permission to come and have a look, but uh, <laughs> that's it, I'm coming to have a look. <laughs> they always say yes anyway. Yeah. Just a bit of etiquette though, isn't it, really? Yes. Wait to this. Close. Oh, well played. Well played. Brilliant. Nice line as well. Weight's good. And two now to Melmore. Big moment early here for Karen Murphy. She's watching it intently. Lines looks good. It looks very good. It's terrific from Wonderful. Karen Murphy, who says, anything you can do, I can do better. And she's... Picked up a shot, maybe two. It was almost a complete reversal from the last end. Yes. But it was a good save from Karen Murphy, who now leads 7 3 after five ends. a bit wider and when it stays out yeah, it starts she, out there it stays she wasn't happy with that one from the time she released it she knew it wasn't any good just didn't get it away as clean as she normally does Pulled the switch now to the forehand, um, sort of locked herself in on that backhand shot. It's not really coming back from there either. Better there from Melmore. Now holds two. This is Karen's last bowl, and she's not really near a jack yet. It's going to get to that back bowl. That last bowl of Natalie's is the shot. Looking better here. 
Here's to sit on that pink, and she has. Well played, Karen Murphy. It's been a great match so far. Some weight here from Melmore. It's not coming. It's going to miss everything. And so it will be a shot. One to Karen Murphy. And so 8-3, eight, eight, three, the lead now for the Aussie. We've had six ends. And Australia up by five. Welcome back to the second of the women's semi-finals. England's Natalie Melmore is taking on Australia's Karen Murphy. This is the start of the seventh end. Nice start there from Natalie. Next couple of ends are very important for her, aren't they? She's already down by five. She needs to win two of the next three to, to stay in touch and not let Karen get on a roll because once she does, it's hard to stop. Most definitely, you can't let Karen um, get that jump on you. It's uh, very hard to pull back and stop her once she gets ahead. Inches. It's not fifteen inches anymore. It's a bit closer, but not close enough. Still shot to Natalie. Chasing this one down. Wants it just to keep going. Nice effort, though. It's the last one of this end. Hang. Good attempt. Yeah, just a bit too much weight. So an opportunity here. No more holding two, says our marker. No real danger on the backhand. Looking very good. It may be real good. And it is. Great bowl, says Karen Murphy, and three shots picked up by Natalie Melmore, and 8-3 has become 8-6. Big end for the English woman. Getting very warm out there at the moment. Natalie's just uh, taken a little break and had a drink, and uh, really important that you keep your fluids up out there because it can really affect your concentration. Great start there from Karen. A bit of a loose one there from Natalie. But a very, very good correction. What's mine there, Helen, please? 15 inches.
Well played, Natalie What's Melmore the there. there. Sorry? What's the gap there, please? Three quarters of an inch. Oh, wonderful play now from Karen Murphy. She holds shot. Fantastic shot from Karen. Going to the backhand. Trying to dislodge that bowl of Karen Murphy's to sit three, oh, and she's oh. going to. That is outstanding again. Brilliant stuff. And what is it, three? Could be four. Marcus says three. She's playing a bit of weight through here. Coming. It's oh. hit and Good hasn't changed luck. much at all. It will be three minimum. And all of a sudden... After being down 8-3, Natalie Melmore has picked up back-to-back -back ends of three shots to hit the lead 9-8. How quickly a match can turn. Consecutive three shots. And now the English woman's in front. Karen hasn't done much wrong. No, I don't think there's any need for Karen to panic at this stage. And she knows that she's playing good bowls and um, just got to keep doing what she's doing. And Natalie, um, you know, has just been brilliant on the conversions. Last ball, please, Helen. <clears throat> Two and a half. Two and a half feet. Thanks. Better ball here Karen's got a fair bit of room here to to draw for two. Weight well, looks good. Little touch on that. Well played, shot. Karen Murphy. She hits back. With two shots, and now Karen Murphy is back in front. It is 10-9 to the Aussie after nine ends. This is a terrific match. Worthy of the final. Let's head downstairs, Andrew Holmes. 
lot of great pressure ball there by, uh, by Karen. Yeah, it seems to be both of them are really fired up for this game. Um, even from the first ball, Kaz looks really intense and right up for it, so it should be an exciting match. We spoke to Lindsay Armitage earlier and we said this is this is Karen's backyard, this this pressure stage. She loves it, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. She loves it. Um, we always have a laugh like when the cameras are there. She's really, really mega focused. You know her probably better than anyone else in terms of playing a lot with her. What uh, what are her strengths and what will she need to do today to, to overcome Natalie's game? Mainly Kaz has to be consistent. Kaz, to me, is the most consistent player out there. So if she can keep being consistent, she'll wear Natalie down. Good luck. Thank you. Kay Moran there who partners Karen in pairs quite a lot. My ball to the jack there, Helen, thanks. Oh, quarter of an inch in front of Jack High. Thank you. Yes, Kay knows um, Karen's game back to front. Another great bowl from Karen. There's that consistency that Kay Moran was talking about. Bit of weight here from Natalie Milmore. It's coming back. Oh, just missed. As I look at my bowl, which side of the bowl is the jack on, Helen? Is it this side more, please? Uh, slightly. That side? Yeah. Gap between the front pole and the jack, please, mate. One inch. Ah. Karen will be looking at getting another close bowl without broadening the target because uh, both those bowls can easily go. Just slipping around in behind there for a bit of cover. Stay on. It stayed on the back of the green there, Karen's bowl. It's about the same distance from the ditch as Natalie Milmore's first bowl. conditions for these girls as well just a slight breeze but barely a flutter of the trees and the flags she doesn't like it one ball left each Thirty five degrees, seven per cent humidity. Dry. I reckon that thirty five is in the shade too. I think you're right, Mark. I think the chicken you've just put on in the commentary box is about done too. <laughs> May need to turn the oven on when we get home tonight. <laughs> it's a good bowl there from Karen. She actually counts where she is, three, so. Last throw of the dice on this end for Melmore. She holds three, does the Aussie. Natalie's looking at this, and oh, it's just missed. And it kept rolling too. So that is three for the Australian. It is toing and froing. And there's been some big ends the last few ends, and a little handy lead built here by Karen Murphy. She leads 13-9 after 10 ends. The last four ends have been three to England, three to England, two to Australia, and three to Australia. That was the key to victory in the first semi-final for Val Smith. When she lost an end, she only dropped a shot. For the first seven, she lost seven ends in the first 16, only by a shot. And that in the end proved the difference. Yeah, it's a, it's a big factor in singles. Um, the old saying, ones aren't going to hurt you. 
So if, if you can at all eliminate your count to one, it's very good. My ball, Helen, thanks. 15 inches. That many? 15. 17. for weight there. So she holds two. Important bowl here for Karen Murphy. Had good weight on her last two bowls. Just got to correct on the line. Line's looking good. It'll come back enough. It's dipping at the line. Did it run it out? No. To the backhand. Gets the touch and gets the good result. To pick up two shots, I think, on this end two. for Natalie. It is two. Two to England. It is two to the English woman, and the, na the gap is narrowed 2-2. 13-11. Two, two. Karen Murphy leading Natalie Melmore after 11 ends. The second semi-final, the women's singles. Let's head downstairs, Andrew Holmes. Thanks, Mark. It's a good time to join uh, John Bell, the English coach, and uh, Natalie has, uh, has settled into this game nicely, hasn't she? Sorry. She settled into the game nicely. Oh, she's a, she's a world-class player now. I mean, our program for Delhi transformed Natalie into a good player, into a world-class player, and she loves the big occasion. You know, she's, she's a pressure bowler, and she's doing very well. She's a calm, relaxed personality around the venue. We've seen her here all week. She's brought it out onto the green today. Yeah, she's, she's, um, she's a very personable person, and uh, she's a very good uh, promoter of the game, and uh, she plays well, and she knows how to uh, promote the game. Proud of her efforts, uh, winning a Commonwealth Games gold at the age of 21? Absolutely uh, superb. I mean, it, it, she, um, she, I actually brought her into the, uh, into the singles berth at, at a very late stage, and then she was quite surprised, but uh, we both agreed that that was her best chance of a medal, but she has surpassed all our expectations with her winning the gold in the, in the way she did, which was brilliant. What element of her game will see her prevail today? Um, I think her, um, her personality, her temperament, um, and she, she's got the experience now. She's got confidence in herself, and um, she won't be um, overawed by the occasion by any means. We wish you well. Sorry? We wish you well. Thank you very much. Karen Murphy on the forehand again. Three quarters of her bowls have come down the forehand side. Stood her in good stead to lead by two. And this is another good bowl from the Aussie. Probably the longest length 
end that we've played of this match, um, scene of this match here that Natalie's rolled. One or two, Helen, please. Just one, Karen. Just one? Oh, just one. Shot foul in relation to Jack, please. Dead Jack, I can tap. Great shot from Karen. Changed over to the backhand and a little touch on the jack. Gonna wait here. It'll go across the face and miss everything. So a really good chance here for Karen to pick up another three shots. Just the same again, please. Yes. Easier said than done. Yep. <laughs> Didn't come out of the hand all that cleanly. This has come up well short, but it's still two shots. For Karen Murphy. And the lead is back out to four. 15, 11, she's edging closer within six now. Have a spot in the final. <laughs> Starting on the back end, this end, Karen Murphy and Starts with a nice one. Fifth time, a long end has been rolled and... My weight please, Helen. About a foot. One foot, one Thank foot. You. Certainly not mucking around. Natalie, as soon as Karen's off the mat, bang, she's on there and away we go. She is very quick on the mat, Natalie, isn't she? Pretty good reply from Melmore, just drifting past. So Karen Murphy holding shot here. Karen switched to the forehand now, looking just to turn her bowl closer to the jack or get to Natalie's back bowl. Will she come under? She's gonna slip around. It's a good home there. Natalie won't be short. She'll be looking to come up and possibly trail the jack or sit Karen's bowl. Only just missed it with the last bowl. 
gust of wind just as she let the bowl go melmore and it will just miss the jack and you can hear the wind picking up there in the sound effects but that came just as she released and let's go downstairs andrew holmes a shot there to karen murphy she leads 16 11. thanks mark yeah shot there to karen and steve uh the conditions here are a little bit tricky now the wind's blown up hasn't it it's just enough to be fluky andrew it's um it's not a lot of wind but what there is it's kind of fluky and um yeah i mean you can see the girls playing very very well in the conditions and occasionally have that loose end because the, you know it's just that fluky breeze tricking them up but i think it's been a high standard game taking into account the green and the conditions we just spoke to john bell uh, a, a moment ago and he was happy with the way nelly was going it's a sort of game that it is it's a good game happy with kaz's performance thus far oh absolutely i mean there's probably still few still twists and turns in this uh still to come kaz only needs five but that can be hard sometimes so I'd like to see you know try and clear this up pretty quickly but natalie's world class uh full respect to her so um let's just keep plugging along and hopefully kaz can uh continue her form and, and wrap this up pretty quickly good luck thanks mate short of jack high. Thank you, Matt. She wasn't happy with that one, Karen Murphy. Almost went off in a hand there. An opening here. For Melmore. Rolled on a bit more than she would have liked. Marks are still favouring Murphy. From her first bowl. Kaz is calling for this to get down. It's coming back nicely onto the line. Great bowl. It's got too much on it. She knows, Karen, if she can pick up a couple of shots here, it then becomes a, a different mind game for Melmore because she's within sight. That's right. Of victory. At the moment, she's five away, which would take a minimum two ends. If she picks up two here and gets to within three, that can be over with one poor shot or one great bowl from Karen. We just heard Steve say that um, they'd like to sort of get it finished early and, uh, you know, fi finish quickly. But as we know, those last few shots are the hardest ones to get on the board. This won't come back from out there. Last bowl here for Natalie. try but not quite enough it's ducking away again it is oh that'll be close i think it might be two here for karen murphy or one she's saying two. two australia two it is to the aussie and so that is a huge result for karen murphy for the first time in the match she wins three consecutive ends and now is within three shots of a place in the world championship final Welcome back to the 2012 World Championships. End number 15 is about to get underway here at Lockleys.
Every end now to Natalie Melmore. Here's one of survival. She's a chance of being beaten every end now. Talk about Karen being a veteran of the game. She's played over 400 games for Australia, which is a massive accomplishment. A bit short it is, the wind picking up, they're bowling back into the wind. Oh dear. Karen having a look here. She knows she can't win it on this end now. Marker just saying that she thinks that Karen's two down. There's a little bit of room there for Karen to be able to draw that shot. Very warm conditions here in Adelaide today. And I'm sure even though the breeze is making it a bit tricky for the players, they will appreciate the cooling effect it will have for them down on the rink. Here's Karen's last bowl. that that's saved anything there. <coughs> Big opportunity here for the English woman. The wind's very tricky out there. You can see the blustering around on the banners around the sides of the rink and the flags. Certainly two like four Natalie chance here to make it three get herself right get herself right back in it a bit wide and it's knocked Karen Murphy's bowl and could even have cost a shot got fortunate there didn't she and she gets back to within five stops the consecutive run there of Karen Murphy it's still a, a very handy position for the Aussie. And the mat's been brought way up here by Natalie Melmore, trying to change the rhythm of Karen Murphy as we head downstairs. Andrew Holmes has Rebecca Quayle. I do, Mark, and uh, speaking to a uh, Australian Pairs gold medalist here in Beck Quayle, Beck, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's very exciting. Uh, dream come true, I guess. A great uh, combination of you and Kelsey, and uh, you got the job done in pretty emphatic style in that Pairs final. 
yeah, like from work go, we've just gelled really well as a pair and, um, you know, fortunately we carried that through to the big one, so it's awesome, yeah. Karen out here is doing a, a fine job. She's leading at the moment. Uh, how are you sort of working through this game in your own mind? Yeah, I think um, Karen's certainly dominating it. Um, I guess from my opinion, you know, Karen started the year winning a world title um, over on the World Indoor Tour and, um, you know, I'd love to say I finished the year winning a world singles title. It's been a great championship for uh, for the entire team, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been. Um, you know, we've done really well. We've so far assured uh, seven out of eight medals. Um, we just want to make as many of them gold as possible and, um, of course, keep working on the two overalls. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Trail of the deck there by Karen. Holding shot. Where's mine for Jack there, please, Helen? Two balls past Jack High. But... And another touch up by Karen Murphy, a fantastic shot. Nice try, but it's still two to the Aussie. Gap between the jack and the ditch, please, Helen. Uh, a metre. About, about a that, metre. is it? Yeah. Natalie, her signal was a little bit more than a metre, but I think she meant it disrespectfully or whatever. Just not used to doing the measurements this is a massive moment in this semi-final. But Jack can't really get much closer to the ditch. And Karen, is that going to sit? Staying on. Just, Just in. Natalie's only got one bowl left and... Uh, Karen currently holding two shots. Three, three means the win. <laughs> Karen can close this out here. Last bowl of the end. She's staying on the forehand. She holds two. This for a place in the final. She's eyeing it intently. Crowd knows how important it is. Will it stop? Will it stop? It's close. Natalie Melmore is blocking our view. One, two. And it's hard to tell from here, but I do favour the Englishwoman. Just the two. Yeah. Yep, was Karen was hoping it may have been three, but she is within one shot of a place in the final. But there's nothing more assured than the fact that Natalie Melmore will throw everything here at Karen Murphy.
A little bit short there from Karen. Maybe a little bit of tension in the arms and the hands. Found out in the first semi final how hard it is to get from 20 to 21. That one shot, always so hard to get. <laughs> Holding one at the moment. Nice reply from Natalie. And she's drawn the short the shot. one short, please, Helen. This one? Yep. Two feet? Two Just feet. over two feet. And my back one now, please. About two feet. Slip this bowl. Oh, it's knocked it on. Forehand side here for Natalie Melmore. Didn't quite get there. I mean, Natalie's only two good ends away from putting herself in a winning position as well. That's right. If she can um, hold on to two shots here, it puts her right back into it. And uh, with the bowl left to come. Good if I missed it, eh? yeah, I'm sure she's feeling the heat there, Natalie, but you wouldn't think it could be any hotter than winning a gold medal in Delhi. If she can cope with those yeah. conditions, I'm sure Adelaide would be a breeze. <laughs> That's right. Karen just said to Steve, my weight would have been good, and I think she was right on target if um, she hadn't have hit Natalie's bowl. So she'll be just looking to play the same bowl again. To say that outside one's not there. Slip under it for the shot. Watching it closely. She's close. She oh. is squeezed oh. through. It's just run on a fraction, hasn't it? How is it looking? It still might be Natalie. It's definitely not two anymore. Mark is not prepared to call it. And... Oh, I think it is the Englishwoman. The one at one o'clock there seems to be the shot bowl. Just, just got the shot. According to the rings, anyway. Yeah, and they don't really count. <laughs> just a guide. Is this going to turn? I don't think it is. Too much weight on it.
Good opening from Natalie. Karen will be just saying to herself now, just one good bowl. That's all I need, just one good bowl. This is handy. Oh, I just didn't stay with it. To the backhand now for Melmore. Karen's now switched to the backhand, just trying to draw the shot down there. Line looking good. Looking good. Wonderful bowl. And some applause from her opponent as well. Advantage on this end for Karen Murphy is that she will have last bowl. That's right, Mark. It is a big advantage. That's a terrific shot. Great shot from Natalie. Here's the boyfriend of Natalie Melmore. Jamie looking on intently. I reckon he'd be a little bit nervous now. It's a long way back. Six shots when your opponent's on 20, but as we mentioned before, she only needs two, or, you know, even one big end now, and she's back to within one end of finish it herself. Seven, three and a four, and bang, she wins. That's right. She's got two here at the moment. You can see as Karen Murphy walks back, her shirt blowing in the breeze, which is picking up. Well, that's going to come back much at all. So one bowl left each. Natalie Milmore holds two. Karen Murphy needs one to get into the final. What's she thinking about here? Oh, she's... Worried about whether Karen's going to try and trail or get that jack, but um, I think she probably just needs to. She's going to doesn't want to sort of leave anything out there on the back end for Karen to use. At the moment, it's only a, a one ball target, so she's opted to go to the forehand, come around and try and draw another one just just behind. Only two, please. Yep. <coughs> yes. Well, here we go. She can come up with a magnificent shot. She's into the final. All the hours of practice, all the tournaments, what she would give for the perfect bowl here, Karen Murphy. Has a better line. She's watching it intently. Has she got the weight? I'm not sure she has. It's not far off. It saved a shot. That's good enough for second shot. One down's good. It Karen is, at the stage. It is one to Natalie Melmore. 15 she moves to. Karen Murphy is on 20, one away from the magical number. And it is 18 ends that have been played and 2015 to the Aussie. And the advantage of that is that Natalie still has to win two ends to win the final. Semi final, I should say. And. Karen got out of the blocks very well. 8-3 after six ends it was. And then after eight, it was 9-8 to the Englishwoman. And since then, Karen has dominated the back end of the match. But Natalie Melmore's just hanging on. A 
shorter end here from Natalie. Said downstairs, Andrew Holmes. Thanks, Mark. I've got Jamie Chesney here, uh, Nellie's partner, and uh, mate uh, Mark just said upstairs that she's just hanging on. It's exactly what she's doing. That's, that's all she can do now, yeah. Just keep trying to play good bowls and, and hope Karen doesn't get it with the last one time. But yeah, that's all she can do is hang on. She's not playing poorly yet uh, as such, but Karen's just sort of uh, maintaining that scoreboard pressure. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty one difficult down. out there, to be honest, right especially ball, going please. back Two towards the to commentary box. It looks yep. difficult. And but yeah, Karen, Karen's playing some big bowls. And yeah, like I said, I think both of them, they're both playing pretty well considering the conditions out there. It, 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 it's warm and windy. Uh, is that something that uh, Natalie's sort of uh, strong in those conditions? Well, we've had a couple of weeks here, so we. Yeah. We're, we're all used to this. We've had days like this as well. The wind's not as bad as it has been, but it, it definitely still affects the bowls. But yeah, she, yeah, she's had a couple of weeks here already. So all the best with the rest of the match. Cheers. So Natalie Milmore has shot at the moment. Drifting a bit too far, that one. What Karen Murphy wouldn't give now for just <laughs> the our ultimate front, our front toucher. Yeah. She will get last crack at it again. It's a better line here from Karen. It is. Crowd knows it too. Karen will Murphy. She stay with it. it. <laughs> and she does. Falls away, but it is shot. She hurdles over towards <laughs> Steve Glasson. Lucky she didn't pull a hammy. <laughs> Very nice shot. Just starting to hang there a little bit. And then I just thought I wasn't, I wasn't getting it there either. We both weren't, so... Yeah. Nice. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Warm, isn't it? In the seat. <laughs> Is that all? I thought it was more. Trying to the, um, be relaxed. Yeah, I feel the wind in here as much as it stands, I reckon. Missed to stay in the tournament. And she pulls away Natalie, and a little bit sweaty. This is her last bowl. Will it be her last bowl in Adelaide? It's she's not under. online. Yep, she knows she's missed it. And Karen Murphy <laughs> is through to the final of the World Championships in the women's singles. It was a hard fought 21 15 victory. And the Aussie is into the final. Well, it was a high-quality semi-final. There can only be one winner, and that least, sadly, uh, Karen Tugel on the day, but you must be happy with the way you played. It was a terrific match. Yeah, I think, you know, the, the rink wasn't always easy. We both had some uh, interesting ends there. But, you know, Karen's a class act, so I'm, I'm not too disappointed to lose to her, really. You got away early, Karen, but Natalie came back, and there was a few nervous moments there. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you know, to Nat's credit, you know, she's the Commonwealth, uh, you know, gold medalist from Delhi and I knew she was always going to come back. I just had to sort of hang in there. And as she said, just to reiterate, the, you know, the rink wasn't easy. Um, you know, we had our loose bowls, you know, we, we both did. But, um, you know, sometimes it's sort of who, who gets there first and um, I was just able to hang on. What has it been to you? Yeah, look, first uh, World Singles Finals, pretty special, I guess. Um, you know, I bagged a, I bagged a bronze uh, last time at Moama, so, uh, you know, I'm hoping to go one better, a minimum silver, but, uh, you know, I've just got to go out there. And I can, I know I can play a bit better than I probably did in that, you know, but the, you can only play as well as the conditions let you. So, yeah, I'll be fired up for the final, that's for sure. Well, the final will see Karen take on New Zealand's Val Smith, the defending champion. Should be a terrific match. On behalf of my co-commentator, Julie Keegan, I'm Mark Braybrook. It's goodbye from Adelaide. <laughs>